Right, first of all, let's come back out the front. Check out the van. Sarah, what we're doing? We got this driveway, which is a bit knackered. This one's got to be done. We're waiting for Travis Perkins to turn up at the moment for sharp sand. So we're all set up. Uh, right, back out here again. So this concrete section we're on at the moment, we're not ripping this up. We're not ripping this up. We're keeping the cost down. Plus, I drilled into it several times. It's about five inches deep of concrete. So ignore that cigarette. This is the stuff we're using for this concrete area. They're called Alvin Lees. That's going along here. And behind the bike here is the stone we're using, all 600 by 600s, um, silver grey. That's coming around the back. There's Kyle, my man. He's just trimming off the um, grass a little bit. We, I didn't bother filming the ripping out of the ground because that's just bloody boring. But yeah, there was a load of hardcore here already. Um, more than ample what we needed. So we just topped it up with some stone dust yesterday, compacted it all down. So this section is going to be these tiles. We're laying them in a diamond formation. So that's going to be the shape of it. Um, I did build this wall last year around there. And just loads of plants, loads of stuff in the way. So until this lot's done, that stuff's going to be in the way. So as soon as that patio's finished, we can get rid of all these plants, dump it on there. Then when that area's clear, we'll have a crack of this bit. So yeah, the concrete's about five inches deep already. It's like solid. So screw it, we're going to leave it in. But what we'll do, um, here, I did try yesterday with my normal grinder. We're going to cut out a channel all the way length of this wall and we're going to put a slot eco drain system in and then we're just going to tile straight on top of it so that should be a bit of fun then hang on let me take you back out the front briefly so i gotta try and remember what these things are called um oh that's it drivesies it's like a it's, um, a block pavia which is actually grouted which is actually grouted so no weeds because you can always, you always put a weed membrane down first before the hardcore as usual but you always get airborne seeds so we don't want any airborne seeds at all so we chose a product which is grouted so no no bloody weeds coming up because that just spoils everything right i've got to set up some squares and figure out my pattern testing testicles testing testicles so I've just laid out some string lines, got myself a 45, 90 degree corner. I just set these out here now. If I take my first tile over a little bit more right to that tile, to that peg, then this side here will work to a half a slab. So that would be ideal deal more than anything so we're just going to trim off a little bit more and um, then we'll get cracking by the way as well I've got a new YouTube channel coming I've been working on it's called Tidy Bricks Epic Fails not ready yet I've got three videos already for it and busy weekend getting a couple more in so just so you know Tidy Bricks Epic Fail will be out soon and it's just going to be having a laugh doing mad things so I've had a good little set out this morning, trying to get the uh, trying to get the levels and squareness and everything right. But there's nothing square in this garden at all. The side wall over there, that's about six inches out of square. I did the old Pythagoras theorem. If you're ever caught out and you're not sure what's square, use Pythagoras. So I'll like, quickly explain Pythagoras. From the corner there, that way mark out three meters then from the corner that way mark out four meters and if the mark from the four meters and the three meters match up to be five meters then you know it's square i did that earlier and instead of five meters it was 4.9 just about 
so it was miles out. So I've had to rethink it all, re-level it, re-square it. It's always nice when things are square, but yeah, not a perfect world. It'd be boring if it was a perfect world, wouldn't it? Um, so I've changed that. That's changed the levels a little bit. So we do have some more spare um, stone dust outside. So we're just gonna chuck some in now, level her across. Still waiting for Travis. So hopefully Travis will be here shortly. They said second load before 12, well, late morning. And I think it's afternoon, I think it's PM. Hurry up, Travis, for God's sake. Right, so yeah, well, whilst we're waiting around, we got faffing around to do anyway. So um, it's looking better now than what it was. Look even better when I'm home later on my massage chair and the massage. Oh, look even better then because I won't be able to see it. But I've got a while yet, so we're going to crack on. Um, oh, yeah. This video is mostly going to be on time lapse because too many people say I blah, blah, blah too much, which I suppose I do. So I got a new camera. Let me move it over. Uh, well, hang on, I can't see it. Sorry for my terrible filming. So, Brino, come on, camera, where are you, for God's sake, there? So, I got myself a new HD time-lapse camera. So, yeah, this is mostly going to be time-lapse. I'm just going to do a bit of blah, blah, blah at the beginning, just explaining what I'm doing. Then we'll just watch out. I can crack on and get on with it. Testing, testing, testicles, testing, testicles. So, here we go. This is this morning's work. Laying it at a 45-degree angle which is actually panning out all right. You can see I've got lots of string lines there. I've got a string line this edge, string line in the middle, and I've also got a string line down there on the back. So yeah, I've got lots of string lines going on. Trip hazard flipping central. But yeah, looking nice. I mean, I've got a wander around the side. So what my plan is, is to get it's only one o'clock now, we've done that this morning. If I can get this lot wrapped up by tomorrow, which should be easily enough then. Monday then, I'll bring the Zoe down and we'll just start chopping some tiles. So when I've set it out, I've gone from that string line there, corner to corner. Works out really well. But I haven't squared it off with a house at all because none of that is square. The only square is a bit behind me and the bit we're staying at at the moment. Well, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Time lapse, less blah, blah, blah from me. Right, let's get a mix on. Well, that's bloody annoying. The camera just stopped filming for some reason. Right, let's go through it again. Okay, so. Right, I'm going to take that thing out. And I'm going to re-mess up what I've just done. So, get this nice and flat. This is what I've started using, a plasterer's trowel. So, I know this, all oh right, I suppose I have to explain this bit again, don't I? Then what I'll do, I'll stick my level across the top. And then this bit here, you estimate then, is that enough cement or not? But it looks pretty much what I'm after. So now I'll scrape off around the sides just so the cement doesn't pop out of the joint while I'm tapping it down. Now I'll give it the wiggle. Everybody do the wiggle. Right, here we go. Here's the wiggle. Okay, so what that's done now, that's just giving it a bit of undulation I think is the right word just to allows me to tap it down to the level it was when I was using this knowing that it's the right amount of sand cement so these vipe clips I'm still using these I'm going to put this right in the corner so when I lay my tile in the corner bit here I can screw it nice and tight and bring the corners all together nicely um, so that's ready now for tile to on top. First of all, got to prime it. All right, bear with me. Right. 
right. Got my grabbo as well. Right, grab a tail, turn it upside down, stick it on the barrow. Put my primer in the bucket, using the brush to rub it in. Make sure to completely cover the tile because salt can travel through, effervescence can travel through the cement long after you've completed the job, but the primer helps stick it down and is an extra barrier to stop um, effervescence from coming through. Right, so that's primed up. Spin it around. Grab yourself a grab out. tile back of it's nice and primed pop it on there tuck it underneath the vice clip right so when we're in place now where we're actually going to I've got some five mil spaces normally stone it's a bit dodgy using five mil spaces because they can difference in size but this stuff from Marshalls this town gate is all calibrated the same size, so it's pretty good. So I'll check a couple of spaces in the corner. Number there as well. Shift the tile over where it's going to go. Right, when that's in position and staying put, now I'll tighten up this height. Right, that's so all that vice clip's doing now is helping all the corners to come up to the same height together. And thank you as well for all the people which has given me the make of my previous hammer, which I knackered up, Halder. So for all the people who mentioned what the actual hammer was, much appreciated. As soon as I found out what it was, straight online, bought myself a new one. So thanks for that. Right, now tap into the corner, tapping it that way so you get a good tight fit. That worked out sweet as that already. So even though it worked out really sweet, didn't have to tap it down too much because I knew what the height was going to be by using that. Always check with the level. And that's got a nice fall coming this way. And I know it's got a nice fall this way. So any water lands on the patio, immediately comes away from the house, straight onto the grass area. Repeat, 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 until you go, time for me to go home. Then go home, jump on a massage chair. Right, well, I just thought I'd do that little video just to show you how it's done to lay a tile. Right, too much blah, blah, blah. Time to get back on with it. And you can watch a time lapse. So I got that lot done yesterday and I promised you it was going to be a time lapse. By the time the end of the day came, went to the camera to stop it and it didn't record. So everything I did yesterday for the time lapse, gone. So there's a little bit more down that end. We'll time lapse that this morning and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Yeah, so that was a shame. Typical, bloody typical. Well, anyway, so got to kick all these things off now. So I'll kick all these things off, pick up the spaces, and we shall try again around here. And it's Friday as well, so it's crunchy day, yeah.
There we go second day of laying pretty much done it it's a shame the time lapse didn't work because the time lapse was for basically about half of that um yeah i do have to trim that one off there i've put a mark on it i'll let that go off over the weekend then i'll trim that back but yeah it's nice the nice thing i do like about sandstone is for examples look at all that another one that is the beauty with natural products porcelain you don't get none of that you don't get none of that at all but um yeah it's all right nothing special another day at the office so the next one really is that so we got to wait for the patio just done to go off. Um, we might grout it Monday. I've got some cuts to do around there, bits and bobs. As soon as I've grouted it, then I can chuck all these flipping pots on it, clear that space. Then um, we'll figure out what we're going to do there. But that's going to be these. That's going to be the Alvin Lees. I've just spoke to Marshalls earlier. There's another half pack. I haven't had them yet, though. But that's going to be these puppies. going to be done in herringbone. All right. Front looks all nice and tidy. I'll be in that van extremely shortly. Right. Okay. That's enough of this stuff. It's Friday afternoon. And I'm going to go home. Well, actually, I'm going to go to the pub. And have a pint. Have a good weekend, everyone. See you Monday. So currently I'm working on a patio at the moment, as you can see behind me. And now I've got to fit an eco drain system. The drain system is going to be these here, the um, stainless. Stainless is a nice colour to go with what we're using. And up against the side of the house here, we need to install a drain system as well. So I'll show you step by step guide. So this was the old gully pot, which was here in this corner. And this is the new gully pot and attachments we're going to be using for this project. So the old clay pipe, which used to be here before, um, is covered in concrete. So I've had to trim off the concrete really gently. And I'm going to put this reducer onto the old pipe, leaving a smaller pipe here that will be connected to a four inch pipe. So we'll connect this up one up first. So the reducer pipe's been connected now, and I've tightened up the Jubilee clip here. That's tightened it up nice and tight here. Now we can connect my next pipe to this one. So the next part of the installation is the actual gully pot itself, which I'll be using, which is this. So that'll connect into there nicely. Now I need to connect up a four inch pipe to these two here. So I've just connected up the gully pot to where it needs to go. Tightened up the Jubilee clip on there. Also cut out the holes on both sides. That's where the echo drain is going to connect to. That'll be the next part. So as soon as you're all connected up and you're happy with the heights you've got, 20 mil chip ins around the pipe, push it into all the gaps possible. Then you're good to go for the hardcore then tile. So we've got everything prepared now. I've just scraped around where the echo drain's got to go. I've got a semi-dry mix. We're going to lay the echoes on the semi-dry, run it around, connect it up to the two connectors, and connect it up to the gully. 
So I've laid my semi-dry mix down. I've rested the Aco drain on top. You have two alternatives for the Aco. You have a male, uh, sorry, female end, which doesn't have any bits poking out. And you have the male end. I've opted for the female end because it's nice and flush for this to butt up against. So we've laid it down. Oops, get my finger off the screen. Stick the level on top. Tap it down to height. Connect them together. Bish and a bosh. So I just cut the pipe there to go in the gap, but I didn't explain these, these things today. So these, these connectors are for ACO drains. So you've got a choice of what you want to chop out. I've chopped out this angle. So that's going to connect up to this. And then that side connects up to that side. So there you go in there. So I've got the gap there ready. And I've got these here. Now this just slides in between. So I'm going to bed that, that and that on and tap them down and get the levels. So I've just plonked that one in position. I can do this bit one-handed. So I've got to make sure the angle, I've got the right piece. So that connects that way. So I can slide that in position. Sorry, I didn't show you that bit. Slide that in position. Adjust it to the height needed. And that's got the connector then for the next ACO. Um, yeah, pretty simple, really. Testing the most important part when you're putting these things together, that you do actually have a full. So you're just touching the line on the left. So that means the water is going to run to the right away from the house. So there we go. After a couple of hours of faffing about, drainage is in. Corners all cemented down. And now that's in. I can do the cuts now to go up against it. Well, I'm glad I got the Aco drain done yesterday. That was a right pain in the neck. So yeah, new gully, new Aco, all lined up. Now I just gotta put the cuts in. Oh, great way to finish a day. Or a great way to start the day, even. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings down Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us
Right, so that's all the cuts done on there now. Gonna give her a good pressure wash and uh, start grouting. Right, that's a pressure washing done. I've just had to spend 150 quid on a locksmith. I locked my keys in the bloody van. So he's just turned up, he's just got that sorted. So now we can get the stuff out of the van to grout it. So first things I gotta do, I've gotta block all these holes up so the grout doesn't come out. So I go all the way around the edges, wherever the grout can come out, fill them up. So the second most important thing is as well, when you've got a chamber like this, is to grout them separately. Otherwise, if you were to grout it whilst in position, the grout would run down the black, which you see in front of me, and then it would just be solid. You'd never actually get the um, manhole cover out. So make sure you do it separately. Very important. Tried and tested, bolstered up before, not bolstering up again. So now everything's grouted up there. Make sure that black rim is clean as a whistle. If it's not clean as a whistle, that cover's not gonna fit properly. Okay, so the cover plopped on really nicely. So clean the area and get ready to grout. So corners are plugged up, manhole cover over there, covered, sorted that bit already. Normally it's a two-man job this, but I'm going to do it in half because I'm by myself today, so I'm going to do half the amount because this stuff is proper stressful. It really is a really hard product to work with, I'll tell you what. But Desra says on the tin, it goes mega hard, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. But the stress of actually doing it is a nightmare. So I'm going to put the camera up, and I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to get on with it because it's proper hard. So yeah, half mixes, whisk it, whisk it up for a couple of mixes, pour it out, squeegee it in. You need a proper whisk for it as well. Right, this is half. Let's whisk. leave for two minutes now then re-whisk the bit i'm going to do first is along the echoes i'm not going to film that bit you can see the bit after i've done that the less stressful bit but yeah pressure's on i'm having a mare doing this is a mare anyway i've locked my keys in my van this morning it cost me 150 quid to get them out doing this stresses me out and now I just keep in press washers just falling over. And that bit snapped off. The bit which goes into there. And it won't stick back. Man. This sucks. Well anyway, apart from my stressy life, um, this grout is rock solid already. It's rock solid really is mega hard so it does what it says on the tin but i must admit i'm fed up with the stuff it's really good yeah i'm not knocking marshalls for the product but um it's just so stressful now, years ago we had that brushing stuff just flipping out a bit of water brush her in then walk away finished this stuff will probably end up having residue all over the top of it as well but then you've got to come back and clean her again oh that's it, the end of the video, bollocks. I'm, uh, don't know, I might just go home. That a guts full. Well, apart from it, it looks nice though. <laughs> it's not finished. But I've got more to do behind me anyway. So I'll grab this when I grab that. But I might go home. Fuck it, I'm off. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Sorry, I'm a bit of a bit of a meanie today, a bit of a meh. But you know, we all have our tough days, and today is a tough day. It's all gone wrong. 
So, balls to it. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.